What is going on dudes? Dynamic here and welcome to a new Black Ops gameplay of mine. And today we're playing some Domination on WMD. And I'm using the FAMAS with Suppressor and uh, Double Max. And perks are obviously Warlord. And I think Ghost and Ninja and that is, that is such an amazing setup, I just can't describe it. If you didn't give it a try, you definitely should because it's awesome, it's just it's raping asses. So cool. And uh, yeah, I normally tend to use that of hand because I get killed so fucking often because I reloaded too slow and that's not cool. <laughs> Definitely not cool. Um, but yeah, in this particular match I was like, okay, why not trying out something new? And that was a good decision because that perk is awesome. Oh man, that was that, that was a lot of awesome in not even one minute. But uh, yeah. Jeez, man. <laughs> Just talking shit. But uh, yeah, I'm, you know, I don't even have this perk pro, but it's... It's, yeah, it's awesome. <laughs> I repeat myself. Um, and, you know, I I actually had a 130, I think it was Hunger 34, Hunger 34 to 12 um, demolition gameplay left um, to post, to comment over it. And, uh, yeah, but I was thinking about doing the dual commentary with Spathic, you may know him from GBA, he's a director as well. And, yeah, I was like, okay, why not setting up this match for a dual commentary? And I don't even know if we will comment about this, but... Um, a dual commentary at all would be great, because my English is at best, at best, decent, and so are my commentaries. So, would be a nice practice, I think. But on the other hand, my gameplays are quite good, quite okay, I think. And, uh, you know, the particular match I was talking about before, the Nuketown Demolition 130, whatever. The first time I watched this on theater mode, I was, I was so shocked. I was like, oh my god, I'm never ever gonna post this anywhere, that is so embarrassing. I'm behaving like a little tryhard kid on speed. As you know, I'm getting about I think two or three dogs, three choppers, about uh, I don't know four blackbirds. Not even a bit blank for the objective, just running around trying to get killed. And uh, I was so shocked when I watched this at first. But yeah, we will see if if <laughs> if we will comment about this. Anyways, and um, today I want to talk to you about Modern Warfare 2. Yeah, I know. If you would be so patient to listen to me before clicking this video off. Um, yeah, you know, Black Ops is, is an amazing game, I love it. It's it's so balanced, it has all the nice stuff in it, it has cool perks, cool cool kill streaks, all that shit. The weapons, the card points, all that stuff and whatnot. But, you know, it's nothing, nothing really new. I don't want to say that the game is getting boring, but, you know, at the same time, after the game came out, Modern Warfare 2 had much more excitement. This game has now. To me, that's just my personal opinion. You know, I never played any COD before. I didn't play Call of Duty 4. I didn't play Call of Duty 5. Modern Warfare 2 was the first COD I've ever played, and I just I was totally addicted to it. You know, Modern Warfare 2 was not only one of the first Call of Duties I've ever played. It was also one of the first first person shooters I've ever played at all in multiplayer. And yeah, I totally stuck to it. So to the point where all those nuke tube danger clothes when Man Army shit started. Modern Warfare 2 was an amazing game, and I'm... Man, I'm not gonna lie. When I started this game at first, I was a noob as well, totally. Because I used noob tube and all that shit, all the weapons that are considered to be noob-like. And I think if you're an unexperienced player, that is okay, totally. Because you will automatically choose the weapon that is the most easiest to use and that you feel most comfortable with. And, uh... Yeah, I don't know, but... I think we agree with that the noob tube was the most easiest weapon to use in Modern Warfare 2. And, uh, yeah, I don't know, but I... I pretty much enjoyed this game in spite of all this noob tubing and one man army shit. I don't know, but don't you think that it was fucking satisfied to put your fist in a noob tuber's ass? I don't know, but for me it was. Sorry, that was inappropriate. But there were two things that motivated me most to go on with Modern Warfare 2 like crazy, in spite of all that frustrating noob tubing Jaden Akimbo shit. And uh, on the one hand, it was the quick scope in, and you know, it might be cliche, but that is what I miss most in Black Ops. And I just. I still don't get why they removed it from the game, because this game is awesome. It has all the great stuff in it, it is so much balanced, but the most exciting thing is missing and I don't know why. I'm pretty sure you guys know about the official statement from Treyarch um, about that thing. And uh, yeah, they said because quickscoping is cheap and I mean, come on, this is ridiculous. If you call quickscoping cheap, then what do you call tubing? Okay, hold on for a second. Watch that. Watch that. What am I doing here? I'm just running around and then I'm just 
doing such a stupid thing. <laughs> I mean, I watched this game about three times and I still don't get for what reason I jumped off this fence, off this building, off this whatever thing it is. Uh, anyways, so the second thing that motivated me most in Modern Warfare 2 was the nuke. And I, I don't know if you guys agree with that, but you know, for me it was always a challenge to go for a nuke. If it was kill streak less, or you know, if it just was for fun purposes, just just running around and doing shit. But uh, anyways, I missed that. I missed the nuke. You know, when I got nuked the first time in Modern Warfare 2, I was like, oh my god, this is impossible. This guy must be such a freak. I mean, 25 kill streak. Are you kidding me? But uh, the more experience I gained, and the more I went on with the game, I figured out that okay, it. It isn't that hard to get a nuke, but you can always make it a challenge by going for a kill streak's nuke, for example. Maybe with an silenced F2000 or something, or a USB or whatever you want. And uh, I think that is what is missing in Black Ops most. There are no big challenges in Black Ops anymore, like in Modern Warfare 2, where you just could say, "Okay, I'm going for my 10 nukes now. I'm getting my nuke emblem, or I'm just, I'm just going for my 1,000 AC-130 kills to get this spinning prestige emblem from COD 4." Or something that is just you know all this unlockable stuff was something that kept me motivated and that is missing so much I think in my opinion there's only one fucking thing to unlock important thing to unlock that is that is cool and that's the gold camo and this is I want to be honest with you guys this is the only reason why I prestiged I would never have prestiged if there were no gold and camo but uh, yeah I'm cool with that but I just missed the challenges from one refer to and that is that is sad. But <laughs> anyways, I love this game. But I think I'm I will go back to Modern Warfare 2 someday and uh play some quick scoping matches, maybe maybe going for a nuke or something. So yeah, if you guys would like to see some Modern Warfare 2 gameplay, then uh let me know. Maybe my next post will be a quick scoping free for all or something and uh depends on you, yeah, so so if you guys agree with me, then let me know what are your reasons that Black Ops lost its shine pretty fast, or maybe it's it's amazement quite a bit. Let me know what are your opinions, your reasons, and uh, yeah, I mean, I want to be honest. If Modern Warfare 2 wouldn't have had all that shit in it, that dupe tubing, danger clothes, and uh, chatting akimbo and whatnot, maybe if the UMP would have been nerfed, and if there wouldn't have been a tactical insertion and all that boosting shit. Would have been a great game. Fucking amazing, but... However, maybe it was the annoyance itself that made out the excitement, I don't know. But uh, yeah, good old days of Modern Warfare 2 are over and uh, so is this gameplay. So if you enjoyed my commentary then go check out my channel and subscribe, that would be great. Yeah, so... I'm out, see you guys soon.